It's our state's natural jewel. Kangaroo Island is an international drawcard that sees more than 150,000 visitors each year, lured by its wild beauty. But there's so much more to this island than its picture-perfect coastlines and its iconic lighthouses. And I want to find out what those who know it best love most. Homemade morning tea under the gums of Signet River is an unexpected but welcome start to my adventure. Craig Wickham grew up on the island, returned as a park ranger, and now is raising his own family here and running a tailor-made tour company, Exceptional Kangaroo Island. He and son Blair are my guides for the day. And while some are content just to hang around, we've got some ground to cover. There's an amazing diversity of different things we can do here. And I guess the job that I've chosen is really showcasing that. So it's, it's all the things that we love to do as, as families, you know, going down to beaches, great walking, you know, wonderful produce and cooking that up, you know, out in the middle of nowhere. That's something I love to do socially and why not do that for a job? Craig's knowledge of the island is expansive. As we travel, he's just as informed discussing its Cambrian fossil deposits as its Cabernet Franc. And in fact, that's where we're headed first, to wine country. 15 years ago, a honeymooning French vigneron, Jacques Le Tong, fell in love with this place. And recognising the island's potential, set about finding land with the right aspect and soil for grape growing. The Islander Estate Vineyards is the result. Estate manager Yale Norris greets us, together with an impressive view of the Signet Valley, and explains the vineyard's principles of close spacing and low yields to concentrate flavour in the grapes. Yale himself is another overseas convert, seduced by Kangaroo Island's charms. My wife and I decided to raise our children here, mostly because it's a pristine environment and it's very safe and we're going to allow our kids to get out and amongst it and really get away from the commercialism that, that drives so much of American society. Freedom is a theme even in the barrel room. It's a slice of Gallic technique and tradition transplanted to 36 degrees south, giving the winemaker the ability to experiment with French styles and blends without that country's restrictive production and classification rules. On to our next destination, lunch, and Craig's good relationships with local landholders gives us access to places well off the beaten track. In a private bush camp, Craig's cooking up some fresh local whiting. Kangaroo Island food and the people who produce it are another reason he loves the place. Often it's, it's as much about the people and learning the stories, whether that's the, the free-range eggs, the honey, the olive oil that's being produced here on the island, um, abalone, you know, maybe meet the fishermen as they come ashore the, onto the beach, lobster, um, we've got um, the marin farmers, you know, we're producing marin in the, I'll just put a bit, bit more wine on this fish, uh, producing this beautiful marin. So yeah, we we really just, the job's to try and celebrate the best of what's going on on the island. The gourmet experience is becoming a bigger part of the island's profile. But Craig says that as far as his international visitors are concerned, the three things they really want are wildlife, wildlife and wildlife. His experience as a ranger is a distinct advantage here, helping him predict just when and where we'll get to see rare Tamar wallabies in a completely natural setting. Because what they do, because they've got no bit like me, I've got mean, only fur on the bottom of my paws, but I have on the top. So they'll put their tail out there, put their back feet up, and then they'll hold the whole bundle together with <laughs> their front feet and then curl up. So, so cute. That's, that's about keeping warm. <laughs> It's been a very full day, experiencing the island in a way I never had before. And I must say, I'm more than a little jealous of the life Craig leads here. That's the really cool thing about, you know, all the things I really enjoyed growing up here, they're still here today. So whilst the island's evolved, you know, the, there's the you know, better access, of the, you know, the art scenes here, the food and wine, all that's, and that, they're all positive things as far as I'm concerned, but the core experience in terms of Nature, isolation, beautiful solitude, uh, amazing beaches, bushwalking, that's still here and even the busiest day in the middle of summer, I can still find that.